A very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Big Stone Television. I told you this morning that I was cross, angry, and miserable. I told you I was going to Coco Peace to see Mama Gwen. But guess what? I'm here in Coco Peace, sitting beside this wonderful lady. But before I talk to Mama Gwen, I just want Roshane Barnett to hear this. And it is coming from Big Stone. You're not getting a reduction in a sentence. Remember me tell you. A matter of fact, Roshain, you're a whole lot safer in there than out here. Because what you did has affected not just Mama Gwen and her immediate family, but the entire world. Mama Gwen, how you do? I'm good. I understand your pain, Mama Gwen. And I know that this unscrupulous little punk wants you to relive this pain all over again at a time when you're mourning the loss of your husband, my dear friend, Harris. Mama Gwen, I think about you every day since the 21st of June, 2022. When I got up that morning and saw a distraught mother, and what really drew me to Mama Gwen was when she saying, my one daughter, I had to blow in a plastic Bottle to bring her come here. I couldn't understand that blowing in a plastic bottle. What mama Gwen mean? Me never hear that before. And I did my research with some older folks, and they told me, yes, when you blow in a bottle or you breathe heavy, it relaxes the contraction and make her easier to have her baby. Kamisha Wright. She died at 31 years old, leaving four children. Mama Gwen, four grandchildren. Mama Gwen, I don't know what to say to you today. After reading the newspaper and learning of the fact that this boy wants his sentence to reduce. What are your thoughts on that, Mama Gwen? Talk up to the camera and make the word here. One thing I can say and I can tell Roshin Barnett as I am sitting right here, I know that no judge is going to drop that sentence for what he did. Because he think he did something simple. He don't realize what he did. He has taken away all my family from me. And yet still, the sentence that the judge gave him wasn't enough. Because I was looking for the judge to give him a 125 year imprisonment and him only get 61 and, and 8 months or whatever. And you still have to talk about you are appeal because the sentence too enough. We can't tell her, she you better go back or stay or look back in your, in your mind and think hard of what you did to me and my family. You think it is easy for me to get up every day and don't see my grandchildren them and my and my daughter where everywhere she 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 me want to go she always have to to, to help me if me want to go to the supermarket and she help me everything as she and no me don't have anybody to help me and you gotta talk about you want to be reduced well me I gotta see this one I judge I gotta really stand up I have to, to cut down that sentence, Roshian. Because you, you should have like top of sentence. Because you should have been the girls. See, like how my grandpa and my daughter dead. You should have been dead to Roshian. And, and, and God spare your life as you're not dead. You understand? And now you're going to talk about the sentence to I. What kind of heart you have? You're too cruel. And any judge dropped that a sentence there, him don't have no kids. And he don't have no grand picnic. And he don't understand what I am going through. You understand? Some he want to know. And which one I judge, I got, I got, I got reduce it, that a sentence there. You hear me? Uh, Mama, can I understand every word? I may echo every word where you say. Him should have dead. But the Almighty is not like him. So we spirit. It's life. But you know what we want? The judge no must order that we check him mentally to see if he's a madman, because there has to be a madman. And then after him dead, 
We want to check his brain because we want to see what was inside of his brain. Why he commit such a wicked act? You're a wicked boy. And watch this. You kill her daughter, Kimisha, and her four grandchildren. But you know what you also do? You take away her little nephew, which is you, from her. Because you're still her nephew. Her sister picked me. So you damage a lot of things, Roshane. We're not going to spend too much time talking about you. We just happened to talk about this because I was coming to see Mama Gwen anyway because she lost her dearest of husband, Oris McKnight. How long you and Oris were together? Over 22 years, I know. Over 22 years. That's a lifetime have children together so when I saw the plight of Mama Gwen I said I have to come down here and to see how best I can offer my assistant my expertise in raising the monies because she didn't have it Mama Gwen didn't have it Mama Gwen just buried her daughter and four children last year she buried her brother and now she have her husband to bury where she forget it from the body never gave her no money for therapy the body never help her and give her a grant and say, take this and go on. The body never help her and give her a grant and say, take this and go on. There are funds out there for situations like that. If Mama Gwen was in a, any one of those first, first world countries, she would have been well taken care of. Mama Gwen need therapy. So what we did, I reached out to my friend Siddiqui Williams from Real Helping Hands. And we started a crowdfunding platform. We want to raise $15,000 to put in the hands of Mama Gwen. Most of it is to bury her husband. And the change that is left is to stack out a little shop so she can live because she has lost her breadwinner. She has lost her soulmate. She has lost her partner. I come here many times. I was here for her anniversary last year. And I videotape her dancing with her husband. Take a look at her dancing with her eyes. You see that tape? This is Mama Gwen in happier times because she's a happy lady, but of late she wears a frown. So I'm appealing to you, every single one of you out there that is hearing my voice, go to that crowdfunding platform. The link is right down there in the description. Go to the crowdfunding platform and help Mama Gwen in crisis. The population of this world is 8 billion people. All we need is a hundred thousand people pledging one dollar and that's a hundred thousand US dollars. But we're not asking for that. We're asking for fifteen thousand dollars. Most of it is gonna help to bury her husband on the 26th of October. And the rest is for her just to live a few months. So please dig in your pocket and help Mama Gwen. I call up a lot of friends and when I told one of my brethren, Sean Prendergast, right away Mr. Big Stone, in my pledge of $120,000. So Mama Gwen, you tell you ready, the $120,000 are there to help buy some material. All you need is to get a truck. But she you know no money to pay for the truck, so we have to go help her pay for the truck. So that she can go pick up the material then early and secure it because the grave didn't even the 16th. The 16th of October. Saying so, you what we're gonna do? We have a herbs man with Mama Gwen know. A roots man, you know him? Winston, him say no, you very, very well. I'm saying Winston, you know, so I'm gonna look for Mama Gwen. And he said, really? I said, yeah man. And just digging in pocket. Well I'll make sure I find the money we ain't give me. Sita. You dig in my pocket. I said, 
see give mama going 10,000. And I go dig in my pocket. Hold on there. And put five more upon that, make fifteen thousand dollars. Wait there. Two, four. Hold on there. There. Hold on there. Find it. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifteen thousand dollar. We start off our crowdfunding. And watch I know. Jamaica wants you to put to your heart, you know. Because when Mama Gwen did go through her turmoil, enough vloggers post up the videos. I want to make money after Mama Gwen to, you know. So I appeal to you, know, I have to big up people like Andre Stevens. Because when we reach out to Andre Stevens, like how we reach out to Andre Stevens again, he sent 40,000 dollars come get Mama Gwen. So Andre, partner, draw TV, big up yourself. But we still I reach out to you again. I'm sending you a voice note, Andre, to help Mama Gwen. I mean, no, you're going to do it. We're going to reach out to talk to you, tell it. Juby, me a chat to you. Come out to yourself, Juby, and help Mama Gwen, because I know you have the power and the influence to do that. We don't talk to George Pan already, and we're going to ask Kendan to help you. Saying, so no matter what, Mama Gwen, them care what you go doing. Your husband have to put on right. And that's why I come all the way from Kingston to come look for Mama Gwen to make sure that Mama Gwen is alright. I mean, you know, going to help me, you know. Because you know, help me all the time. When I have congested bad feelings, like, you know, help Big Stone, you know. No shame because I go beg if I don't have it. When I have um, stage 4 prostate cancer, I beg again and you want know, to help me. See? So, no shame that you don't ask if you don't have it. And if you don't have it, I'll be going again and again. Because you see the work with Big Stone do. Help Mama Gwen. Go to that crowdfunding platform and help Mama Gwen. You hear me say? Help Mama Gwen. Watch me. Erica Boswell Monroe, big up yourself. I know you will be helping Mama Gwen. Sharon Oshun Chambers, I know you will be helping Mama Gwen. Denise Isis Miller, I know you will be helping Mama Gwen. Thea Chambers, I know you will be helping Mama Gwen. And Sean Prendigas from Real Helping Hands, thank you for the pledge of 120000 to help Mama Gwen. This is not a long documentary. This is just us reaching out to you for worthy cause. Look into the camera and tell the roots man thank you and the rest of the world that is going to dig deep to help you. Look mama man, we understand your pain. Looking at the camera. Thank you Mr. Roots man. And thank you Mr. Sean Pendigos for reaching out to me and for helping me. And I know the rest of the people, I know you are going to help me because by God's grace and mercy, I know you will reach out to help me. God bless you all. Boy, you know it's a big stone, Bali Bali. I may feel like I don't want Bali Bali, but you know, just ask God to hold me and firm me up to help this lady in our tribulation. One woman can bear so much pain. We have to help bear some of the pain for you. So, the crowdfunding starts from last night. The link is going to be in the description of this video. Go to the crowdfunding. Put your heart up. And for those of you who don't have no money, share the crowdfunding. Because when you share it, it might just reach somebody else. See? Who can help? Oh, there's one more thing, Mama Gwen. I spoke to a gentleman by the name of Lance. And Lance has pledged to help you. Him live apart and he never tell me how much money him ever sent. But I know Lance is going to do the right thing. And I'm speaking to a whole lot of other people to send directly, not to Big Stone, 
send directly to the crowdfunding and then I'll put Mama Gwen number right, and you yeah. can call Mama Gwen personally see him? and talk to her and console her Big Stone love you my general I love you my sister I love each and every one of you that is watching this video thank you for supporting me during my time and my crisis and I'm asking you to support Mama Gwen in her time and her crisis thank you so much for watching and remember share the video Go to the crowdfunding and put our money in it because every mickle makes a mockle. Mama Gwen love you. Love Mama Gwen. Thanks. Love you too, Big Stone. And thank love you too. for reaching down here. Thank you so much. You're always there for me. Don't cry, Mama Gwen. Don't cry, Mama Gwen. What is up, Miss Gwen? Miss Strong. Don't cry, Mama Gwen. What is Miss Gwen? Don't cry, Mama Gwen. We know you're off in our mind, but you're off. Don't cry, Mama Gwen. Don't cry, Mama Gwen. Don't cry, Mama Gwen. Don't cry, Mama Gwen. Don't cry. Don't cry, Mama Gwen. Everything's gonna be alright. Him can't stop no face. Watch me. Him can't stop no face. You can't do it. Don't worry, Mama Gwen. Don't worry. Good day for you. Yeah? Good day. Good day. Ladies and gentlemen, here you have it. Thank you for watching. Coming all the way from Coco, please. Mama Gwen. It's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be alright.